Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing, I'd love to have you all. So this is a channeled message from the person on your mind, so it could be anybody that you guys are thinking about. Um, so excuse the nails, because I have to let them breathe for a couple of days. Um, so group one, we have curiosity. Group two, we have communication. And group three, we have judgment. Right, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. And if your story's not in this reading today, if you take a look at the playlist, I have a lot of channel messages over there. Um, and don't forget these are energies as well, guys. So anyway, I'll see you at your groups. Hey, group one, so if you chose curiosity, um, these do have messages, so I'm gonna read the message. So curiosity, the human phrase curiosity killed the cat makes us realize that fear is based around this word with the human mind. Words have energy which is linked with how the mind perceives the meaning of the words and how it is used as an explanation of existence. We see curiosity as an intellectual interest in the world around you. Inquisitiveness is a natural part of all creatures on earth and, it, and is how you try to understand the world around you. With curiosity, you need common sense, oh, freaking bike. <laughs> with curiosity you need common sense this energy balance will then help you thrive and take away the fear the person may have, might you know may own a bike um this has to start with a young child a guiding eye and hand to ensure that they are safe as they explore their world your curiosity can lead you to wonders of the universe so this person that's on your mind okay this channel message message that's coming through this person is very curious about you I don't feel like they've actually made any moves because they may be fearful. Maybe they're trying to investigate you, maybe find out more about you. Um, could even be maybe you did have something with this person, if it is romantic, that once the curiosity had worn off, they moved on. But we'll see anyway. So Spirit, tap me into group one, please. And tell me about this curiosity card, this channel message from the person on their mind. So we have the High Priestess and we have the Six of Pentacles. Tell me a bit more. Oh, blimey. Three of Swords. Six of Swords. Six of Wands. And Death. Okay, this is someone that it, you're, you've been there. Yeah. <laughs> and the Seven of so, uh, Wands on the back of the deck. Some, this may have been a relationship for you guys okay i'm seeing here that this came to an end um i mean my freeze i see as a third party sometimes it depends on the surrounding cards i do, I do want to clarify that so this energy like i said it could have been that maybe they were curious about you when they got you they got bored and maybe moved on sorry to say it like that this also could be that because the relationship come to an end, you're still like a like a drug to this person. Like you, they still find you um, intriguing. Okay, like a mystery. We've got the high priestess here. You know that it's like I'm picking up obsession here. It's like they can't get you off their mind, and the channel message here is what I'm seeing is is they wish they'd given it to you instead of I am seeing third party here and I hate it when it always is about third party but it, it is the cards it is what it is it is what's going on with you guys that are tuning into this pile they're saying I wish I'd given more to you treated you with the respect that you needed I don't know why I'm getting that, but this energy is saying, I, I know I did your head in sometimes with asking you so many questions about you though, group one. It was like, this energy wanted to know the ins and outs of a dog's bum when it came to you. That's how inquisitive they were. But I feel like with this energy, what I'm seeing here is that they didn't give equally back to you. So when you would ask them a question or want to know something about them, they were closed off. So it's like, this energy is actually saying that 
you know, I wish I'd given more to you. I wish I'd, it had been equal. I know I broke your heart here, and if I could smooth things over, um, I would. They're saying here they wish it never come to an end. That's what they're saying here. It's like they recognise you now for who you were to them. It, it is. I feel like it is too late, but this is what they want to say. And so, what am I seeing as well? They want to get. They want you to notice them again. Their achievements, how well they're doing in life, how well their life has. Um, running smoothly now maybe this energy here was a was a lot of you know a big headache at times so it's like i'm seeing like a boastful energy here as well of saying look what i've done look what, what i've achieved and they are saying that they're they're they did this all on their own they didn't do they didn't get any help with this so maybe when you knew this person, they weren't at this stage in their life where they had, have achieved something here, like they've totally transformed as a person here. When you may have known this person, it may have been when you were younger and you know, they hadn't got their life together, you know. So tell me, what is this message about the Three of Swords? We do have Scorpio energy. Tell me about this Three of Swords spirit, what is this message? Oh jeez, are you taking the mic? That's so many. No, do that again. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Okay. The lovers. So the Three of Swords, we've got the Three of Pentacles, the Star, the King of Swords. Oh, God in reverse. He likes to come out a lot in my readings. It might be the same group that tunes in and then we have the queen of cups okay they wounded you they hurt you deeply here i mean the, the, the king of swords this energy is actually saying to you that i know that i mistreated you you deserved a lot more respect a lot more kindness the king of swords is my narcissist okay it's very brutal very aggressive could have had outbursts of violence at times controlling um could have ended up cheating on you like i said because the, the, i'm clarifying the three of swords when a king or a queen or a knight comes out in reverse it's usually that they are unfaithful you know and then we do have the lovers here as well so it may have been that this energy may have cheated on you group one and decided you know to tell you the truth or you found out the truth or it could have been they left you for somebody else but they're still very curious about you you know what are you doing what are you thinking who are you seeing it's that kind of energy that i'm picking up here and they want to tell you that they didn't appreciate the love and the respect that you showed them when you were with this person you you were in it you were in it all the way It's like they, um, it's like I'm just hearing this energy say, I wish I'd worked harder. That's all I keep seeing here is that they didn't put any effort into it. They didn't respect you is what I'm seeing. And now it's like the star energy here. It, it's, it's sad, but it's not sad, you know. It, it is what it is. Some of you could have a platform, and I've said this before, some of you could be like, an Instagrammer or, or whatever it is that you do or you have a YouTube channel there's something you do where you may be in the limelight group one it may be that you just post a lot to social media and the only way that they can have access to you now 
is through social media here and this is what they find so you know intriguing about you and they're really curious about you and they're seeing you succeed with the star energy here it's like you're becoming a star you know some of you may have a big following here it's like you've worked really hard you've worked really hard to achieve this and this is what they're, they're it's like they admire this and it's like I'm getting I wish I'd shared this with you know I wish I was sharing this with you right now so we do have Aquarius we do have Gemini we do have Gemini Libra Aquarius we do have Cancer Scorpio Pisces but I just want a little bit more from this energy so tell me more about the channel message for group one oh my honestly this energy really wants to say a lot but like it's not possible you can't chuck out the cards like that <laughs> okay let's do that again I, I'm just feeling desperation look the knight of wands so what's the channel message for group one six of pentacles again wow king of pentacles we've got the six of pentacles the magician and the ace of cups they're, they're t <laughs> they want to tell you that they are trying to manifest you back into their life they want a second chance okay they see the value in you now okay they appreciate what who you are to them now they didn't notice it at the time and that is what the huge regret is they want to now you know be on an even even footing with you here you know give and take sharing respect this energy still finds you really really attractive with the king of wands they're still sexually attracted to you physically attracted to you uh, that's never gone away but they are manifesting you here for a second chance. So it could be they could be doing, um, you know, like, um, I've said it before. I mean, I even do that as well. You write, you write in a journal of your manifestations. You put it out into the universe. They are trying to come up with a way to get you back. That's what they're telling you here because they would like to do. They would like a do-over. Okay, this is what this energy is saying. They would like a do-over. So we do have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Wait a minute. Tell me about this Magician and Ace of Cups spirit. I have one Yeah, they want to take action. They want, you know, you've got death twice here. They they want another go. You know, they want a renewal here. Death doesn't mean a fight, you know, finality. Like it's over for good. Sometimes you can you can have a renewal with someone. Um, they also want you to know is that they're going to be taking action. There's something they're going to be doing here to get you to notice them again. Because I feel like this is driving them insane. And also they want you to know here is that their playerish ways, which is nice to see, has ended. They have matured. They're not they're not doing that anymore. That's not who they are. They have matured into a king. We've seen the king a couple of times. Tell me about this um Knight of Wands and Death. What action are they gonna take? I mean, it could be even be you guys as well, you know, curious about what this energy is up to, and, you know, and, and it could be that they are posting a lot online to show you. It's like they're trying to communicate with you in, you know, subliminals and that kind of thing. Three of Pentacles, again, Eight of Cups, the Tower, Six of Swords, Two of Cups, and Strength. That's kind of three times Strength. And the Queen of Wands, that's a couple, okay? So we have the King and Queen of Wands. They're actually telling you we could be a power couple, okay? We're, 
a lot of respect for you but it's really sad because what I'm seeing is the regret that they didn't have the respect for you they didn't see the the person who you was when they were with you which is like I said is sad so clarifying the death and the night of wands we've got the three of pentacles this is them wanting to work on things with you trying to build something solid with you okay they're willing to work you know eight of cups is walking away from something but this is the regret here for walking away for ruining things with you with the tower they should never have destroyed um this connection with you what they are also saying here is at the time i wasn't emotionally mature enough to build something with you but i am now it, you know this could have been years ago for some of you and i feel like this energy is just going to act it's going to come out of the blue so they may send you like a little message or something here like to communicate they want they you know they do want to they ugh. <laughs> they do want to apologize we've got the six of swords again they do want to smooth things over with you they do want to move into something better with you they see you as as their soulmate i feel like they've not found anybody like you and this is someone who is had to find the strength they're saying to stay away from you you know to maybe um mature or they're finding the strength here to approach you. This is somebody who's gonna take control, but I do wanna ask about this strength card because that's come out three times on the back of the deck. Tell me about this strength card. There's that tower again. They're saying that this was unwanted when when it ended that they didn't want this tell me about this strength and tower i feel like also it's like a big realization recently for this energy of of who you were to them tell me about the tower and the strength Two of Pentacles, yeah, they're weighing up their options. The two in a throwing about should I do it, should I not do it? There's that ten of pentacles. Ace of Swords, yeah, they've seen the truth. The we the will of the year. <laughs> this person's single. Yeah. They're single. They want to change their destiny. Okay, they want to change things for the better. They are gonna be speaking their truth here. King of Pentacles, this is someone who has really matured into someone very respectful. It could be this energy may already have a family with somebody else or they did and, you know, they may have gone through a divorce but what they're saying is is they, they want to build a life with you with the Ten of Pentacles. They want to grow old with you, you know. They're getting their affairs in order. They're weighing up the pros and cons of whether I should do this. You know, it could end up in disaster. They could end up hurt. You know, you may reject them. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of fear surrounding this energy but i do feel like they may end up reaching out they may end up um having the balls to do it so let's get you a load of channel messages now so channel message for all right great one <laughs> you mend my despair you are like lavender flowing in the air <laughs> that's a bit corny but anyway <laughs> sorry i shouldn't laugh Ooh, I ain't used these cards in ages, but let's see. So you've got a fairy tale castle would be nice, but a small house is nice too, as long as I am with you. Yeah, this person's really like um, in the feels about you guys. Okay, so we we'll just he's there, blimey. This energy's got so much to say. You understand me like no other. Mm-hmm. I love how I can relax with you. So I'm saying they didn't realise that you may have been their, you know, you are their soulmate. They didn't realise that at the time. It could have been they were young and dumb. And now they're realising this and it's it's really affecting them. When snow falls and the days are shorter, you make it brighter. You are the fountain that flows through my heart. Okay, it's a bit soppy. <laughs> so let's see. So channel message for group one. Blimey, this energy, honestly. 
So I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. So don't forget, we could be picking up um, the energy at the time because these are channel messages that are coming through so that they could be telling you right now that this is how they felt when they were with you, okay? And also now that they're not with you. So that's, that's where I'm going with that one. So it's too late, I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. But that's the energy that they had at the time when they did leave you or they left you for a third party or whatever it was, but years later, it's now hit them. I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you, exactly. Rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. I pushed you away because I do not I do not want the responsibility. I don't understand what you see in me. I don't feel attractive. So it could be going through like low self-esteem at the moment as well. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, you know, if this energy ever was to reach out to you, get ready because you've seen the cards just keep flying out. Like I said, this energy's got so much to say. They may end up just blurting out so much that you may just you may feel overwhelmed. So you deserve better than me. So they know in their heart that you do because of the way they treat you. They have a sex addiction, or they could have had a sex addiction at the time. You know, we did have the Knight of Wands like I said this energy is telling you I've changed I'm not that 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 energy anymore of being promiscuous of putting it about not wanting to settle down sleeping around that is the night of wands you need to move on so it could have been you know you were waiting around for this energy at the time to come back and this is the attitude that they had at the time you have trust issues Wow, do you know what? You're, you're <laughs> when you were with this energy, okay, this is what I'm picking up. They're saying that I did a lot of projection, I did a lot of gaslighting with you, group one, and that's where the apology is coming from as well because they would accuse you of having trust issues. Oh, you don't trust me blah, blah, because you were picking up that this person was doing something, you know, your intuition was telling you this, but you may not have had the proof at the time. You know, for some of you, this energy could have just left you without any answers, you know? The karmic knows nothing about you. So they could be with someone right now, biding their time to get rid of the karmic, and they've never really spoken of you to, the, to this karmic. Let's get one more. I cry at night over losing you. There we go. There's real emotion right there. And did I do the little ones new? So let's get a bit more. So channel message from the person. Yeah, whatever. I want to come back to you. Yeah. Wow. Well, there we go. I left them because they could never replace you. I can't stand the thought of you with someone else. Sorry for sorry for not making time for you there you go blimey <laughs> oh i'm not sure if you'd want to talk to me yeah this one's in their feels you know we all think the grass is greener on the other side but it is not green because there's that saying isn't it water your own grass third party influence yes we know <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry we know the third parties ruined the connection okay but no they didn't you ruined the connections for the connection for bringing third parties into the connection sorry i'm having a go at this energy i used your energy to uplift myself yeah you were the queen of cups okay i'm gonna read that in a minute that's on the back of the deck you were the queen of cups Someone who boosted this person's ego was very unforgiving, was very loving, was very loyal. That's what the Queen of Cups does. You overlook their flaws, their, their pettiness, you know, because you love this person, but you didn't get the same respect in return from this energy. And on the back of the deck, we do have, I left you for someone else, but that too has ended. All right. Hmm. Goodness. So, 
channel message. Conflicted decisions, hot and cold, multiple choices. But they are conflicted. I don't feel like they've got multiple multiple choices in other people it's multiple choices of what to do here do i go do i try and approach group one do i open that door again will i end up being rejected because we do have i'm scared to reach out clarity truth in truth intentions and honesty and that's what you've got here the ace of swords this person saw the truth they want to speak their truth they want to be honest curse hex witchcraft negative minds this energy could be cursed they could have um karmic ties you know um what's the word ancestral karma that they've got to deal with confusion uncertain unclear unsure yeah they're very unsure at the moment so what else what this energy like to say obscurity secrets mysteries concealing that's the thing the energy is telling you that they had a lot of secrets they had a lot of mysteries they were concealing a lot from you mistakes misunderstood victim lost soul mm. so I'm going to get you a song I haven't done a song in a while I need to write more so but this is a channeled song from this person to you okay so a song for group one from this energy please spirit so we do have abba's new soul don't shut me down which is actually um <laughs> makes sense really i don't know whether some of you've heard this so it's don't shut me down by abba and it says i believe it would be fair to say you look bewildered and you wonder why i'm here today see this is the thing i do really like this other song sorry i like abba okay don't shoot me um, and i do really like this song of abba's this is talking about i will go through the song in a minute but i want to explain it to you this is somebody just turning up at, at someone's house that they haven't seen for a while and just knocking on the door and the person is so shocked to see them this is what i feel like this energy might do okay so be warned um or they'll just reach out you know that way anyway so i believe it would be fair to say you look bewildered and you wonder why i'm here today and so you should i would when i left i felt i've, I've had enough but in the shape and form i appear now i have learned to cope and love and hope is why i'm here now and now you see another me I've been reloaded yeah I'm fired up don't shut me down I'm like a dream within a dream that's been decoded I'm fired up I'm hot don't shut me down and this is what the energy is telling you please don't shut me down if I reach out to you group one so if you want to listen to the full version of the other song don't shut me down go ahead because that's the channel message from this energy to you guys so um let's get a question can you have a question, guys? I'll ask it out loud. So for group one, what was that? Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. These cards make me laugh. That one said you must be having a laugh. But anyway. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> well, we'll go for the one that flipped over. Why are you asking me? Spirit wants to know. That, you know, that's a bit spirit being a bit sarky there. Why are you asking me? It's like you know the answer. So let's do it again, okay? <laughs> okay, spirit's being funny. Your answers are in the cards, okay? There's your answer, group one. So my lovelies, I'm gonna leave it there. You have a wonderful day, um, and thank you for staying and watching. I appreciate you all. Much love. Hey, group two so if you chose communication so your channel message from this person is um communication this comes in many ways from the human form your thoughts can be processed through your voice the tone can reveal your true thoughts like truth and lies your eyes reflect your feelings of love or fear they can also reflect the soul-based connection energy that your soul group can find you by Touch is also a form of communication, the gentle hand of comfort reflecting love or the heavy hand of violence reflecting fear, hate and confusion. 
You also communicate with your telepathic mind. This is linked with your ethereal, multidimensional energies that bring you your empathic nature. This energy force can detect what others are thinking and how they feel. Use the sources of communication for the good of humanity in truth. So this energy is speaking about they're already communicating with you. This is the channel message, either telepathically or they want to communicate. It could have also been that this energy didn't communicate with you very well. They may have got aggressive. They may have verbally abused you. Um, and I am picking up that this energy is saying to you that I am communicating with you. So you could be having dreams about this person, thinking about this person. Um, and also I could have communicated with you better. And it also could be that they want to communicate. Okay, so we'll see because this is a channel message. So anyway, tell me about this communication card this for group two. This channel message from this energy here. So we have the Ten of Cups, okay. Tell me more about the communication. Wow, Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want to communicate. Um, tell me about this channel message. Six of Wands. I'm gonna take that because I did fly out as well. We've got the Hierophant. The World. Three of Pentacles, um, Temperance, Queen of Cups, wow, Seven of Pentacles as well, with the Hierophant, oh, this person's got a lot to say, whoever's on your mind group two, um, So some of you could have a family with this person, you could have children with them, but you went separate ways. You could have even been married to this energy, but it could be that they're saying to you that you are my happily ever after. This is really what they, the, the eight of wands is a communication card. It is um, speaking out or taking action. They recognize now that you were their happily ever after. So what they're saying is, they would like to get married, they would like to move in together, they would like to start to start a family with you. Um, they're saying, I recognise who you are to me now, how much you mean to me now. They learnt their lesson here. When when it ended, it's, it's like they've had like an epiphany moment here. I feel like this is why they're communicating with you telepathically. Um, I did do a reading recently about who is pulling on your energy. So you might, some of you may have actually um, watched that reading. And quite a lot of you that did comment said that these were exes that all of a sudden you started thinking about. This is what I'm getting here. They don't want it to be over anymore. They chose a different path. And boy, do they really, really realise that they messed up big time. So now they would like to start again with you by building something solid with you. You know, they want to communicate as well. I've seen a lot of communication here. They would like to restore peace back to this connection that you once had with each other. They're saying to you that I love you. The Queen of, One, uh, Queen of Cups is somebody that is still in love with someone. You're still in their heart. They're saying they're waiting for the right opportunity to communicate this to you. I want to know why they're waiting. We do have the Hierophant here. It could be maybe they're seeking some kind of help here or speaking to someone that's more more experienced, more mature than them. That you know, trying to just get a bit of advice on how to handle this situation. Some of you, for some of you, this energy could be telling you that I've turned to religion or spirituality. So why are they waiting? We do have the Eight of Cups as well. This is the regret of walking away. 
from you. And tell me about the seven of uh, coins. Because I feel like what they're saying here is it could be, there's a lot of cards as well, it could be um, the reason why they're getting advice from someone they're saying is because it could be that they're going to be wasting their time. Do they want to take that chance of the rejection from you? So we do have a lot of cards and it just seems like today with the channeled messages, pile one was the same. The cards were just flying out. It's like they had a lot to say to pile one. You're the same here as well. We do have the ten of swords. The um, nine of cups. Uh, but then we've got the six of swords, two of cups, um, nine of pentacles, four of cups, uh, the nine of wands. No, is that the ten? Is it nine? Yep, and justice. They betrayed you. They did you wrong. This is what they're saying. Why is it always when they betray you and they do something wrong that they, they then realise the grass was not greener? The choices they made were the wrong choice at the time. They're saying, I know I betrayed you. I left you at your worst. I up and left and abandoned you is what they're saying here. And I'd like to apologize for this. I would like to smooth things over with you. It's like an apology. This is what they would like to say. They realize that you are their soulmate. You know, this could be a karmic soulmate. You, you guys will decide on that. They're saying I'm single. Money is really good. My, you know, I'm thriving in, in my work or the career or whatever it is that they're doing. They're saying that they are thriving. But now they are dissatisfied with just being single and earning money here. Now, this energy is actually saying that the relationships they've had since you've been gone has brought them nothing, no, no satisfaction whatsoever. It's just like, because it's not you. And what they did to you here with justice was betrayed you they did something wrong here they'd like to apologize because they know they wounded your heart here okay but they wounded their self at the same time is what they're saying so i didn't get so we've got cancer scorpio pisces sagittarius um taurus libra and they are trying to find the courage to ask you for forgiveness and to maybe give them a second chance here, you know. Very sad. Hmm. Tell me more about this channel message for group two. This is a big decision that this energy needs to make. Okay, this is a major decision because we do have quite a few uh, thingy cards, major arcana cards. Okay, because we're gonna have the chariot there. That's take sometimes moving forward, moving on, or moving towards you. You know, making that decision here and. Uh, this is what they're, they're trying to come up with here. Do I do I do it? Do I just leave it in the past where it is? Do I walk away from this and not approach group two? Maybe it's too late. So I do, what action will this, um, I wanna know what action they're gonna take, King of Swords. What are they gonna do? Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, that's a message, Chariot as well. Three of Wands, they're missing you. This is like somebody returning from travels, you know, returning from the past, um, a reconciliation here. They are using their mind 
they're using their mind, you know, their brain instead of their emotions. They're not letting the emotions get in the way here. They're, they're weighing it up. They're saying, like, what should I do? Should I approach this like this or should I approach it like that? Because we've got the Queen of Cups again. That was the Queen of Cups. Yes. Because they are in love. They still hold this love for you. And it's um, taking that chance. And we do have the Knight of Cups. That is communication. That is somebody communicating to you um that i still have feelings for you i'd like to take you out maybe get a meal have some you know have a chat so is it some kind of action going to be taken towards you group two here what else does this energy want to say to group two bloody hell two of pentacles in reverse Okay, they're saying here that I made a really bad, poor choice when it came to our connection with the Two of Pentacles. Um, they're very overwhelmed at the moment. This is, they're not, they're not, um, they're a bit all over the place at the moment, okay? They're to and fro in here, so that they are really overwhelmed. Tell me a bit more. Why are they overwhelmed? Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, oh. Karma, the world. Okay, they're married, or they're in, in the middle of a divorce here, or something like that. Something is going on here with this energy. This is the reason why they've not reached out, but they would like to. They would like things to end. I know I said they're single, so it could be they are going through a divorce at the moment. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So they are receiving some kind of karma here. The, the karma is lessons that they need, needed to be learned with this energy because they wasn't learning from what they did to you. Maybe they didn't learn from what the the relationship that they got involved, you know, the person they got involved with when they moved on. Um, but they are holding on to... So we have the the uh, we have the two of cups now. We've got the twin flame card. They are really holding on to hope here that they can um, have something with you here. Renew the relationship. Tell me about the four of wands. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, they're going through a separation here. They've got, they're having trouble. Trouble has decided to come, come towards this energy here as part of their karma. So this is why at the moment, it's like maybe they're trying to telepathically tell you that I, I want to return. I do see this energy returning. Not yet though, because they're, they're having a world of trouble at the moment with whoever they were investing their time into or whoever they were married to yeah, they are going through a breakup but they've, they're experiencing a lot of trouble bad news what is this trouble the six of swords in reverse eight of cups the five of swords that's how many pentacles hmm Okay, there's a number of scenarios I'm seeing here that this person's trying to communicate with you is that they could have been the ones that were abandoned, their partner could have cheated, they walked away from that situation. Um, there was abuse in this relationship that they were in. Um, it wasn't a, wasn't a happy marriage or a relationship with whoever they were with. And I feel like maybe this is what this energy is trying to tell you here is that, you know, this is karma. This is what goes around, comes around, and I'm experiencing exactly what I did to you here is this is happening to me right now. So they want you to know that, no, they're not having a good time. If you think that I'm having a good time, they're saying, no, I'm not. My life hasn't been easy. I made a mistake. 
Okay, so that's the channel message for you guys from this person. So let's get some channel messages from them as well. We do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very strong water sign in this energy. Okay, we've got the more I know you, the more I fall in love. Yeah, this person's very much in love. We've got the Knight of Cups and the King and Qu uh, the Queen of Cups twice. Oh, hang on, do you turn? Oh, hang on, it did. This is true love. I get lost in our moments, so you know, maybe memories, times you spent together. You mend my despair, you are like lavender flowing in the air. That's what came out in group one. It did tickle me that, I don't know. It's just the way it rhymes. Okay, what else do you wanna say? So we've got, you are like the warmth from the sunshine. You are the majesty of the moon. I may I may not know everything, but I know that this feels right. I may not always say so, but I love you so. So they may not have told you that they loved you at the time. They may not have said it enough. So what else does this energy want to tell group two? I like to control you. So there may have been some controlling elements in the relationship. Um... You know, when I am having sex with the karmic, I think of you. That is really, like, really inappropriate, right? <laughs> but then, anyway, this is channel messages. What can you do? You can't control what comes out. But there you go. That's, you know, <sighs> moving on. I didn't like that you saw through all my BS. Your body drives me wild. So very attracted to you. Secret baby pregnancy. So it could have been that they may have got someone pregnant okay when they were with, with you and they kept this a secret it could even be what the, the bad news is that's going on with them right now because I said there was some kind of bad news here that they're, they're broken hearted there could be a third party so it could be maybe they found out that the, the pregnancy with their person that they're with is not actually theirs okay pick up the phone so maybe, you know, when they go to contact you, they're hoping you're going to pick up the phone. And they want you to know as well, you are my world. Let's see what else. So, what else is Oh my goodness. What is going on with these energies today? My love for you is deeper than I let on. Don't hate me. I know you are better you are the better option but i'm too stubborn to reach out i'm not sure if you'd want to talk to me i love attention so that may be a why you know sorry for not making time for you so there could have been a lot of neglect in this connection as well is what they're saying um i left you for someone else but that too has ended and that's exactly what i've been saying something has come to an end um, third party influences ruined our connection and that came out in group one and that really annoyed me and it's annoyed me again as well <laughs> because third party influences did not ruin the connection you ruined the connection by bringing a third party into the connection sorry I'm having a go at the energy once again so this energy could have projected a lot as well guys so what else does this energy want to say okay We've got a shocking tormill trouble unexpected. So they're telling you that they're going through a lot of trouble, and this is what I'm saying. Something unexpected has happened. So it could even be that maybe this energy's partners tried to keep them there by saying I'm pregnant. It may actually be that it's not their child. Um chasing pursuit toxicity really re 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 oh my god. <laughs> Resilience. <laughs> It could have been with this energy, okay? Be be a bit careful because maybe what they're saying is they're going to start chasing you and it may end up a bit toxic. 
you know we did get the card that i like to control you so just be wary it may have even been that's how it was when they met you you know they pursued you and you gave in and then it just went downhill beauty charming graceful kind-hearted exactly this is how they see you beautiful like the the empress energy and thinking missing you craving desiring yet yeah, we've seen that and they have been thinking about you and missing you uh, twin flame mirroring shared feelings reflection we've got the twin flame card twice there Ooh. we are living two separate lives yeah, so you could have already moved on I cannot support your actions it's too much for me to deal with maybe you did something group too to this energy and maybe sometimes they find it too hard to deal with you know sometimes we can get petty revenge you know i cannot be vulnerable with you i'd rather hide in darkness before i let you see the in inside of me i am afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual see now some of these channel messages could also be something that happened with both of you when you were together so this is what they're communicating as well so maybe something happened but i see that as projection you know to get out of this the relationship with you some people will find something that they can say right that's it i'm done because then it, they don't feel guilty they've got an excuse i need to free myself from fear and doubts i am a caged bird yeah i see that with, with whoever they got involved with they made a mistake a huge mistake did I do one more yeah so anyway I want to get you a song because I haven't done this for a while so this is a channeled message song from this energy to you guys for group 2 do that again okay missing you by case I love this song oh, this is a classic so if you've never heard of it, it's called Missing You by Case, um, C-A-S-E. And it is, um, standing here looking out my window, my nights are long and my days are cold because I don't have you. How can I be so damn demanding? I know you said that it's over now, but I can't let go. Every day I want to pick up the phone and tell you that you are everything I need and more. If only I could find you like a cold summer afternoon, like the snow coming down in June, like a wedding without a groom. I'm missing you. I'm the desert without the sand. You are the woman without a man. I'm I'm a ring without a hand. I'm missing you. This is a really sad. Absolutely love that song. Back in the 90s, I was so young back then. God, good old days. I think it was about about 19 when that song came out. Oh my God, that was years ago. <laughs> love that song and that's a very sad song so if you want to listen to that guys that is a really heartfelt message from this energy here um you know it's made me sad anyway so question time think of a question or ask it out loud for group two please spirit so we've got sure and we've got yop okay that happened quite quickly <laughs> Um, so spirit saying short and yup um, so guys I'm going to leave it there um, you have a lovely day and uh, thank you for staying and watching much love hey group 3 so if you chose judgement this is your channel message so let's have a look so we've got human judgement of others is often seen as wisdom and truth what behaviour is acceptable what is good what is bad each of you have your own values of standards and perception of these energies you judge yourself every day and sometimes you can be very harsh on yourselves to truly judge other sorry to truly judge self and others you need to be aware of the wide range of circumstances past and present you would have to be sure no truth has been distorted and judgment is true so based on true reality of all situations this is hard to achieve, achieve in your limited three-dimensional reality, but if you pause and seek the truth in all life judgments, your perception will change and pure truths will emerge. Okay, straight away from this energy that I'm getting, this channel message for you guys, is somebody did judge you, okay? Um, 
maybe they were very harsh in the way they judged you and this is what they want to say or it could be they could also could be saying to you right now I am judging you so let's see who this is and let's see why okay so tell me about this judgment card and this channel message from this energy please for group three the ace of cups the world ace of swords they've seen the truth in something here you know, death six of wands nine of wands and the five of cups they broke your heart whoever this is left you out in the cold for a new beginning so i am picking up this is a connection that you had with someone okay a relationship that you were in with somebody it seems to be all relationships today all the piles um and it ended here they they may have moved away they may have taken a job elsewhere or it could just be that Something was revealed to this person and they judged you automatically for it. Everything was going very smoothly, but they just closed the door. And I feel like they didn't even, f I'm picking up this energy saying, I didn't actually find out the truth, but I know the truth now. And this is where the regret is. They wish they could change things with you, with, with how they behaved, how they judged you. Um, and they caused the, the relationship to end. They ended it. Um, They literally took action without even finding out the freaking truth. Who does that? Who actually does that? And they're recognising now what they've done to you, how they judged you here. They know that they wounded you really deeply here, that they... It, it just was not nice what they did to you they just abandoned you here maybe they didn't even tell you why I, mean, I feel like they did I feel like they were very harsh with their words here but they just abandoned you they left you out in the cold here they left you to pick up the pieces um, I don't know why I'm hearing that as well this energy saying that I left you to deal with all the debt all the like the why am I here in rent? So you could have shared a home with this person, but they left you literally at rock bottom here. And the channel message coming through here is that I'm now the one that has to sit here with the grief and the pain and crying over spilt milk with my, you know, for the my actions and my behaviour here. And this person is in pure sorrow at the moment they're feeling regret they're feeling the loss nothing has meaning anymore to this person and it also could be with the fall they do want another chance with you you know they want to take a leap of faith and maybe apologize but i feel like this is them saying i went off into my future leaving you to deal with everything here instead of talking to you properly so we do have scorpio tell me about um this ace of swords i don't know what this is some truth was revealed to this person and they it's like they judged you for it and it caused the relationship to end tell me about this ace of swords About the ace of swords. A bit more. King of swords. There's that nine of wands again. Ten of pentacles. The star. Three of pentacles. Queen of cups. This is what they're seeing as the truth now. But I want to know what it was that that caused them to. Oh, let me ask about the world then what they're saying here is I would like to reach out and I would like to communicate that I would like a renewal you know like 
forgiveness basically that I'm still in love with group three here and at the time they're saying I didn't show this they could have been really very judgmental actually seeing with the king of swords here they may have judged you for every little thing that you may have said and may have done may have warned that kind of thing is what i'm seeing here is that they were very very harsh with their words and quite brutal with their words as well and they were very cold at times they weren't very loving it wasn't very emotional here and they know that wounded you here they could have done more is what they're saying now they're in the fields of the knight of cups is realizing i would like a do-over and i really would like to express my love they would have liked to have they're saying i would have liked to have grown old with you they may still want to grow old with you you know they would have loved to have built something with you it could be also with this energy is that they're watching you online if you have a platform you have social media they're seeing you thrive they're seeing who you've become today it's like you've just got this star quality energy about you guys and they're fascinated with that so this could have happened years ago um, they didn't realise at the time is what they're saying is that they had something very solid here but they messed it up they knew you loved them you know you're the queen of cups they're the king of swords you may want to look at group one this is very similar this this reading to group one I want to know about the world please for it what about the world why did it end two swords Five of Cups, there it is again. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, oh my God, you, you really can't make this up. Okay, I'm seeing two scenarios here, okay? It could have been that they may have judged you for... Maybe they accused you of cheating, okay? Having another uh, option out there. And they may have judged you without finding out the truth here. That's why they abandoned you. It also could have been the other way around, that they may have met someone that was a bit more... You know, more on their level here with the Six of Pentacles. Some something that that they felt was that this is really freaking disrespectful but they felt that they were on their level okay you wasn't on their level now why am i hearing this now it could have been maybe you were pursuing a career online you know like an influencer or like a social media uh you may have a social media pl platform i'm freaking losing my words here i'm just like falling over what to say and they judged you for this as well, you know. It's something that you're doing that's unconventional. It's not in tradition with the normal work that people do. You are different, group three. And they judged you for this. They didn't like that. They're the, the, it's like I'm picking up old-fashioned. They like their partner to be doing like a tradi traditional job, you know. At the time, it may have been that things weren't happening for you, you know, because, I mean, God, <laughs> I do running a social media um platform having a youtube channel it ain't easy it takes time i mean i've been doing this nearly two years and it is like snail pace and you've got to have patience and determination and commitment and it may have been at the time that whatever it is that you were doing group three they judged you for this because it wasn't bringing anything in and they just decided that someone else was a better option something or someone else out there was a better option than you but now they're seeing you thrive now they're seeing you know there's this respect here as well and now they're really conflicted that may i may have judged group three harshly too too quickly and too harshly and this is what they want to communicate with you they really do want to speak out about this okay another deck of cards let's see what else they want to say so tell me spirit um we do have aquarius gemini libra aquarius cancer scorpio pisces as well what else does this uh energy you want to say what's this channel message oh god two of swords now in reverse 
and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person's all over the place. The star again. Wow. They want to apologise, okay? They do really want to give an apology, but they fit their feeling that you won't accept their apology, which is, I really don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. So they're delaying the apology. They're delaying, it's like they're postponing doing anything about this. They know they made a poor decision here, okay? And they're feeling really overwhelmed. A poor decision in judging you so harshly for who you are, which is the star. They do want to say sorry. This could be the channel message that's coming through now. They may not actually do it. It just could be that they're saying, I am very, really sorry for the judgment. Look at this, I'm sorry because I didn't realise how valuable you are, how successful you were going to be. But this this really just seems a, a lot of... It's like this energy is really irritating me. I'm sorry. Um, it's more of like the materialistic side of things. You know, the lifestyle that you have now. And it's like, oh, you know, we could have been together. We could have had that. And it's like... They just didn't see the value in you at the time. They didn't. They saw you go off on your own build things up on your own you worked on this all by yourself you had no outside help you did this all on your own so there is a bit of, there is a lot of respect here for that and now they're watching you celebrate your achievements and your life and you could also be married now as well you know or in a serious commitment you went into your future here you took a leap of faith with what you were doing with yourself and your career and it paid off and they didn't like they don't like this now now they're the ones that are struggling mentally, physically, they could be, it could be the mental health that's actually struggling. They're the ones that could be having money troubles as well. But they're the ones knowing, they're saying here that I know I'm left out in the cold. There's no, there's no coming back from what I did to you. That's what I'm saying. They were very harsh. They're saying they judged you. They messed everything up. And their wish right now is the Nine of Cups. It's them saying that I wish that I can come back, I wish I can have a do-over, I wish I could apologise. This energy is not really gonna be taking any action here. This is just all behind the scenes channel message to you guys. Lovely. So let's see what they wanna say with these channel messages. Okay, group three. So we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Oh, anyway, we've got my world evolved to become our world. But that's not true. I feel like this energy was all in... It, I'm hearing, a, you know, me, myself and I, that's what it was. It could have evolved into becoming our world, but it didn't. Because obviously you're not together. They messed up. You hold my hand through thick and thin times and that's the thing I feel like when you were with this person group three you were so supportive so supportive with them but when it came to you and your dreams they were very judgmental walking together brings me peace Oh, my belly is growling. I am starving. I've been doing this for hours. God. <laughs> Personal readings, YouTube readings. Um, so, what else does this energy want to say? My heart is broken over losing you. Your love for me was always unconditional. Exactly. That's, that's the thing as well. That right there with the tarot cards there was conditions surrounding this energy with you you know with the king of swords he likes things done in a militant way you know like a he likes structure he likes to plan things he likes to organize it should be this way or that way and, and like i said could, could have been very brutal as well you know maybe you went to them and asked their advice and they said oh no you can't do this you won't be able to do it, you won't succeed. I'm just seeing a lot of put downs here. The person you fell in love with never existed. 
Mm. At least they're being honest. My ego got in the way of our connection. No shit, Sherlock. Just get a couple more. But please wait for me. You haunt my dreams. You are gorgeous. Yeah, you you are haunting this person. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. Anyway. Withdrawn, single, lonely, solitary. So they are single. They're very lonely. We've seen that with the Five of Cups. This is like karma. It goes around, comes around. The Five of Cups came out twice. So did the Five of Pentacles come out twice. This is how they left you. Feeling so neglected and abandoned. And now they're very lonely because nothing's bringing them satisfaction. You know, they may be having, you know, quick flings. But it's not doing anything for them. God. So we've got clarity, truth intentions and honesty. And we've had the, uh, the Ace of Swords come out quite a few times. So this is truth and clarity. Um, they want to be honest with you. They're actually being honest with themselves as well that they, they messed up. Confusion, uncertain, unclear, unsure. So... I did say that with the, the Two of Pentacles as well as the Two of Swords. They are very confused at the moment of what to do. Should they take action? Should I do anything? Should I just leave it? But I'm also seeing them in their mind as well. Going over everything that they did, how they could have done it differently. But, you know, you can think about that, but it's not going to change anything. Sorrow, loss, grief, depression. There you go. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups again. Curse, hex, witchcraft, negative mind. It could be they could be receiving some kind of karma here for what they did to you. It could be that they've got ancestral karma, mistakes, misunderstood, victim, lost soul. Yeah, they made a mistake. Uh, conflicted decisions, hot and cold, multiple choices. Yeah, they're going backwards and forwards with their choices. They are very conflicted. You can see that. I think of you at night when the world is asleep and my mind is awake. So what else does you want to see? There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. And I feel like that could be they're angry with themselves. They're not angry with you. They're just really peed off at themselves. I am keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. So that could have been so some of the channel messages could be what happened when you were together, what they were letting you know now, and some of these are what they're feeling right now. Okay, so that could have been at the time they weren't telling you certain things. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. Oh. I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions, I won't admit it. Yeah, we can see that person's very ungrounded at the moment they're not in alignment with themselves i don't feel guilty for how i treated you my ego is too big to care that was at the time i feel like this person's having some kind of awakening here with the ace of swords that's come out twice it's like the the rose tinted glasses have come off the illusion has come off and now they're being hit with what they did how they messed up and i feel like this is what i was saying earlier about your success okay I feel like this is what's triggered them because the disrespect that I'm picking up from this energy group three and I'm sorry to say is that group three is not going to amount to anything nothing is ever going to come of this whatever it is that you guys are doing it'd be nice to know what you guys were doing so if you want to leave it in the comment I'd really appreciate that but this is what has literally triggered them into having this breakdown their ego is literally like oh my god if I'd just seen the success that Grew free was going to become. I could have been a part of this. Now I'm not a part of that. Where's the love? Because I've I ain't really got any um, cups. I've got a couple of cups. They're not in their feels about it. They're more in their 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 ego. If you know what I mean. Did I do me little ones? No. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> I need more time to mature. 
I never meant to break your heart. I didn't think you cared, but now I see your love was real. That's just crap. My love for you is deeper than I let on. I've got that twice. I know I'm wrong, but my ego won't allow me to admit it. There you go. I think about texting you, but I stop myself here. This this energy is too chicken, uh, the thingy, chicken shite to do anything. Don't hate me. And we've got, I know you are the better option, but I'm too stubborn to, stubborn to reach out. Really? A better option? What, are you an object? <laughs> Sorry, this energy is peeing me off. So let's get a song for you guys, okay? Let's see what this energy is wants to say for a song so for group three please spirit okay. oh we've got i want to be your man by roger okay so if none of you guys know that song it's by roger so it says hey lady let me tell you why i can't live my life without you every time i see you walking by i cannot breathe you don't understand but in time you will i must make you understand i want to be your man i want to be your man this song goes on okay so um i love that song that's from the 80s yeah it's from the 80s god i'm old <laughs> but yeah this energy wants to say i want to be your man but they're energies okay so it could be it anyone so let's get a question so think of that question group three ask it out loud or think about it so for group three please spirit So Spirit is saying that would be a yes, okay? And a yup. So whatever you are asking or thinking, Spirit is saying that would be a yes. So group three, I'm gonna leave it there. You have a lovely day. Thank you for staying and watching guys, much love.